Okay, this is Arulian, and we're doing a little snapshot of week, well, it's about 20 something. He's six months post op on Monday, which is a few days' time. Um, he's having a few problems with, firstly, sprinting. Um, he's getting a lot of fatigue in the hamstring, so we're going to work a lot of sprinting drills. This is the point where you have to do bounding and shuttle runs and suicide drills to improve his hamstring. But what we're focused on today, because he was complaining a lot about stiffness in the knee, so stiffness in the knee in the mornings after training in general, and when he runs it, he pulls up stiff. Now, the tightness is in the posterior lateral corner. If you want to jump on the back, jump on your back for me. What we've been working on, he's getting pain in the back here, the back posterior lateral corner of the knee. So when we get him up into here, he's lost a bit of range, so he can't get that full range yet, especially when I screw into that range, he doesn't like that. So his soft tissues in the back here very stiff and that's what needs to be mobile so he needs to get in there and loosen up his ITB especially in the insertion come around here for me right into that where that hamstring comes in this is the one that's working really hard this is biceps for us where his ITB comes in into his uh, fibular head he's actually got really stiff in that fibular head um, and that pulling there so we've actually dragged it forward with a bit of tape we've loosened up the soft tissues which will allow him a little bit more range um, but that sort of problem um, gives him that stiffness. So we've been working on that. The other thing we've been working on, have a jump up, is because he's six months, he needs to be doing uh, jumping with rotation, like okay, a hop with rotation. Now, you'll see in the next few videos, when he hops, his left, or sorry, his right knee, when he loads down, so he's got down, he's fine at that point there. When he jumps up, he does this, he rotates in. and. A lot of that's due to a little bit of weakness in the knee, insecurity in the knee, but also what's happening up in the hip. So the lack of um, high level hip stability under load when he jumps. Now this is, this is okay, it doesn't hurt him, but it's a problem when he jumps. Because if he jumps in that position, he's typically going to stress load immediately, and that's how people tear their ACLs. So you'll see when we slow that video down, when he jumps, he actually rotates and dives in and then jumps away. When that's going this way, so when he's jumping from here to a box the other way, when he's jumping around the other way, so if you come in this way, when he goes from rotating from here and he's going to jump that way, you'll notice that he wants to get that knee rotating um, as quickly as possible so he can land. So his first thing he's going to think about is, well, if you squat down, he wants to get that knee up off the ground quickly, but he's doing it too early. He's rotating too early. So, and you'll see in the video, he actually rotates when he jumps, which is bad. He needs to be jumping up and then using his body movement and his, his, um, his arm strength and his arm movement to actually lift him and rotate him, not rotate off the ground. Okay, so you'll see in this one, he's fine. But when he's on this one, he wants to rotate on the ground, which is bad, it's how you tear your ACL. So he needs to be thinking about, okay, keep my knees in line before I jump, okay? And we've used a band around his knees, you'll see in those videos, where to keep him externally rotated, or at least in neutral, when he's jumping, and then trying to maintain that, and using his um, momentum of his upper body to actually turn him. So his legs power him up, and his momentum of his upper body turn him rather than his knee turning him, which is what we don't want. So check that out. Okay, so this is going. Last roll, that's it. And you see how that knee just rolled in a little bit there? Just stand there again for me, Arian. So what I'm watching for here is this knee is not allowed to rotate inwards when he squats down before he jumps. So try and get that knee out for me, Arian. better good so make sure you keep your foot straight so you go to the higher box so again he's got to start I'll go this one we're gonna go this one he's got to start feet facing there he can't let his knee rotate inwards before he jumps that's not bad good good land and then the higher one 
little bit of deep. Can you see how there's a little bit of wobbly going on? That's what we want to focus on. So when he's standing there, we don't want that little wobble in as he jumps. It usually happens when he launches up. So just do that again for me, Ryan. It's a little bit of wobble, but it's not too bad. Okay, here we are using a band to keep those knees extended rotated when he jumps. So let's see how we go with this. Good. Back down again. And one more time. Externally rotating. And go. There we go. Good. Here's the band trying to prevent him from rotating on the floor by externally rotating before he jumps. Okay, here we are now doing double leg bounding over a box. So we're going to work on Small box right and jump it forward. So away you go. And again, so the key of this is making sure we're having a look at this knee again and making sure it doesn't roll in. Okay, band on. We're trying to maintain neutral with the knees when we squat, when we take off, and when we land. Away you go. Good, and again. <laughs> Set, and go. All right, here's a really in trying to get into a modified child's pose position to try and get that little bit of flexion and rotation with the knee. He's struggling with this posterior lateral corner here. A lot of it's to do with the tightness of the ITB, the hamstring into that tibiofemoral joint, which we've, you can see we've taped that forward to try and stabilise a little bit better. But he needs to work on to get this flexion range better, so he stops getting so stiff in the knee after he's doing all his rehab work, bounding work, that sort of thing. All right. <laughs> so this is working on the hip flexion with the external rotation or the pigeon stretch. You can see how he's actually trying to get that down by leaning over here. He needs to be over this way a little bit and sliding that left knee backwards and you can see how much range he's lost through here and this is something we really need to work on this sort of in between the four to six month mark to try and get a lot more rotation through here and moving through the glute otherwise every morning he's going to wake up with a stiff knee after training and he needs to focus on getting this obviously down to 90 degrees sliding that foot back so he gets a lot more range through here he loosens up in his post-lateral corner and that ITB that comes in the side here, which frees him up and that'll give him a lot more movement and a lot less stiffness.